Hey guys, welcome back. Dreamreaver23 here uh, with another Let's Play episode of Prison Architect Alpha 30. And uh, we are making some good progress here on the... Nope, wrong one. <laughs> here on the prison, uh, we still have yet to actually bring in any prisoners, which some people would be like, Yeah, it's been, this is the third episode and you still haven't brought any prisoners in. And stuff. Uh, I think I need to dismantle... Let me see. Dismantle... There we go. That's why. Dismantle. Alright, so what I decided to do was take out uh, four of the... Um, jails, or uh, solitary confinements, and actually turn that into a common room because uh, part of this, this mod that I had for like the extra grants and everything like that is to build a common room with uh, chairs and books and uh, such. So we are going to do just that. One, two, three, four. Oh, which one was that? Metal detectors. Did I already get it? No. Did I? Well, apparently I already did it, but I'm going to uh, still finish this one out. Let's see, I said common room, books, chairs. Oh, I can actually see it, though. Objective bookworm. So chairs, books, and a common room. So, and we got that one taken care of. It didn't pay much, but it paid enough uh, so that I can get some more workers coming through here. So we're actually going to um, get some more guards hired, because we need some guards. And not that one. Actually, we do need to set up a uh, guard patrol. And this is actually going to bring us to a good part of the series, because we need to um, <clears throat> get some stuff set up. So first, we'll set up some utilities. Uh, we do have um, these doors, which apparently we cannot connect to. These are secure doors, remote doors, and so we can control them with our door control system. Um, but it's, it's, we, I think we have to have the prison open for, forced, forced, first. Logic circuit, nope, don't need it. Nope, don't need the logic bridge. And don't need that as well. So it's just, can we set up the, uh, We can set up the, the uh, phone taps. Now, if you hold down shift whenever you click the button, it'll actually set it up to where you can uh, still have your little connector, which is really nice because if you kind of connect multiple phones or multiple doors, you know, whatever it is, you want to be able to uh, get that set all at once if possible. Um, all right, so let's see. We need... We're gonna need two in here. So let's go ahead and hire. Guards are the biggest thing that you always that you always uh, need more of. One, two, and we'll do three, four, five. So we'll do five all together. That's seven guards, and we'll make it one more because it's an even eight. <clears throat> and uh, let's get our residents headed in here. Staff intake, there we go. Now we can handle, what, 22? So let's go ahead and take 11. And we're just taking low risk right now because that's the only prison we have set up is the low risk one. <clears throat> so that's gonna make it to where once we get, uh, you know, this, this area set up nicely, we'll be able to get that taken care of. So 11 of them at once, they'll be arriving in, uh, some time. Now another one that I do want to get is I want to get uh, a dog handler. How much is he per day? $150 a day. One, two, three. All right, so that should be good to go. We do have a, uh, do not have a kennel set up. How big does the kennel have to be? I don't remember. 
Okay. Dirty. Well, what we'll do is we'll actually set up another room like this, built out of concrete. So this is a uh, seven by seven with a one gap. Seven by seven with a one gap. Wait, nope. Ugh. All right, that'll do. It's gotta look the same. <laughs> Kills me if it doesn't. And on this one, we'll put a secure door as well. And we'll set up right in here. For now, a kennel. And we'll get some of the dog crates in here. Five ought to do. <clears throat> that way we'll be set up for future as well. Let's dismantle this. And the reason why is because I want to make sure they're, fit, they're set the right way. There we go. Now they opened up the right way. <clears throat> Alright, we do have 11 low-risk prisoners coming in in 7 hours and 30 minutes. So, uh, let's make sure we got all of our stuff set up for to welcome our guests. We have our metal detectors. I'm not sure what we need to get for this grant to uh, get the metal detectors. Because... There, I, I got metal detectors. I don't know if you have to get like a certain amount or what. Now, one thing we should set up as well, Oswell. Do I have any more metal detectors? They're a thousand a piece. I don't want to spend that much money right now. It, actually, I can't spend that much money right now because <clears throat> that would be fiscally irresponsible. All right, let's. Uh, Go ahead and get our areas set up. This is going to be low risk only, low risk only, low risk only, low risk only. That's shared, so that's fine. Uh, this is going to be staff only. Staff, 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 obviously, staff and staff. Um, I'm wondering if I should put a lot of these areas as staff only. <laughs> Protected only. All right, so <clears throat> we do want to have an area right here set up. We are going to pause time, uh, and the reason is because we want to have, uh, this will be where our deliveries are, so we want to have this area right here set up with a uh, patrol, and then this area right here, one, two, one, Uh, the reason why I want to do that is because the dogs will actually sniff the packages, all your deliveries that come through, and so you can get a lot of the uh, drugs and everything like that that are coming in taken care of right off the bat, which is nice. Um, do I only have the two dogs? Maybe I do. <clears throat> Alright, now we need to set up uh, deployment... We need to set up our deployment scheduler. So the deployment scheduler, when I first started this, actually uh, kind of confused me. I was wondering how the hell you're supposed to get this done. <clears throat> but it turns out it's pretty easy, and it works really well if you also have your regime up, which is somewhere. There it is, regime. So right now, 
They are set, uh, the curfew is at 10, so I'm gonna actually, because they're always complaining about sleep anytime you have prisoners in here. 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. We have one curfew. So we're gonna go through and say, this is gonna be one, or one time frame, right? Um, and then showers, you know, we're gonna do it till seven. <clears throat> Shower starts at eight. So we'll keep that to where it's open, I guess. Actually, I mean, we could do that to number two. And then they have, uh, we're actually gonna set free time up from there to there. Kind of want to do it only an hour of lunch because two hours is just a ridiculous amount of time. And they spend most of the time in there just complaining. Uh, because they get done eating really quick and then they're just like, oh, okay, yay! So we'll see how it goes for the hour lunch. We'll, we might have to adjust that up. Free time. We're going to actually move free time. We could say after lunch, do two hours uh, at, in the atrium and then free time up until 9. Nope, actually we're going to change this up. They're going to eat there and then they'll shower again so they don't have to deal with hygiene problems because some of them will complain about hygiene. Um, so that's how we're going to set up our schedule. So at 8 is shower and at 9 is shower. We have eat at 8 and eat at 2 which We'll actually put that eat at one, and then free time, nope. <laughs> Atrium, and then free time. So we did um, three, that's at eight, and then one. And then we have Atrium, which will be four. And then free time will be number five. Now, once we get it to where we have uh, they, where they can work and everything like that, then we'll adjust a lot of this time. But that'll get us set up. So uh, now that we have our shifts set up, we're going to go through. And uh, if you click over here on your time frame. That's going to set it up to where you can you can um, uh, adjust who's going to be basically on the clock during those times. So when they're sleeping, we need um, a guard patrol walking around here. We'll have one that starts here and one that starts here. So that'll take place when they're sleeping. Now when they're in the showers, it'll be the same thing. Uh, whenever it's free time, you know what, might as well do it as the same thing because a lot of them will go back to their uh, their little their cells all right so lunchtime now we're gonna want to have two guards in here atrium we're gonna have two guards out here should probably make that three just in case uh, this is going to go back to free time. And then that's dinner. Two, we have it set up for shower time, and then one. All right. Um. <clears throat> Now the dining area, the only time I have anything set up in there is um, <clears throat> this part. Now we can also set up station guards. So uh, this is free time right here, so we'll actually set up one in this area and one out here. Just a station guard. 
lunch, no, atrium, lunch, free time, don't really need anybody out here. All right, so I think that'll be a good little setup for your timing. Uh, and then dog patrols. We have those two set up all the time. So that'll be working out. Uh, and then we did get, for our deployment, we did get the areas kind of marked off. So low risk, staff only. Uh, this one right here, when we finish that one, will be medium risk. Medium risk. Because we'll get more money in for them. Unlocked, staff only, extreme risk, protected, shared, gotcha. So that is all good. Let's go ahead and get our prisoners in here. And we're taking in 11 of them. So we'll take them in, in over two days, and that'll make it to where we get all set up. So we got some money right off the bat, and this will help increase our uh, income. So see the dog sniffing them. We need more staff. All right, so there's five. Five more guards. They should be uh, taking these people out. People just got ran over. All right, guys, come on. Come on, why are you not? Take him! Alright, fine. You know what? Then right now... <clears throat> Get y'all's butts down there and take these people to their prison cells before they start running away. All right, let's save this vault. And then we'll load it back up. Load vault. Oh. YouTube prison. There we go. Will you guys come get these freaking people? Jobs. Job blocked, no route. Okay, hold on. Deployment shared. Now can you guys freaking... Oh! That's why. Connect to here. Oh! No, we got doors. They are cells. <laughs> All right, at least they're bringing them now. that everybody who's this that's a workman okay all right good we got everybody up there that was painful is what that was utilities connect this to this okay dismantle this remote door because it's not freaking working
Anybody? Anybody gonna dismantle that that door? Deployments. <clears throat> Alright, so this one we had, that was free time. Shower time. Oh, these were patrols. Free time. Lunch time. Atrium free time. All right, just making sure we got our stuff set right. There was a weapon in there. Seriously, can anybody destroy this, dismantle this door? Move log, job is blocked. Log. How about I just sell these logs? Money in the bank. That's why I chopped down those trees. To sell the logs. Is there a log? I don't see a log. Do you guys see a log? Job blocked. The job is not blocked. How are these jobs blocked? Are these people just dumb? Red-handed fool! Oh, never mind. You didn't have anything. Dismantle object. What's going on with this? I don't know. I gotta get this figured out and see what's going on because uh, something fishy is happening. <clears throat> and I need to figure out what. So, I'll get that figured out, guys. But until next time, I'm Dreamriver23, reminding you to game happy. And I will see you all later. Bye, guys.